Wondering what's in the sky this February? We have the answer. This month, a rare planetary parade offers the chance to spot all eight planets in one night. Throughout most of February, Jupiter and Venus will shine brightly, while Mars and Saturn will appear as fainter points of light. Uranus and Neptune will also appear, but you'll need a fairly powerful telescope in order to see them. By the time Mercury has appeared, Saturn and Neptune will also be close to the horizon near where the sun has set, which will make them difficult to see. Saturn is best viewed early in the month. Through a telescope, the rings will appear smaller as the month progresses and will seem to disappear completely by the beginning of March due to their tilt. On February 14th, look for the beehive cluster in the constellation Cancer. This beautiful cluster contains around a thousand stars and is visible to the naked eye under dark skies. Galileo first observed it in 1609, so it's a perfect way to celebrate his February 15th birthday. On February 16th, Venus will reach its greatest brilliancy, shining brightly in the western sky after sunset. Through a telescope, you may even see it in its crescent phase. The new moon on February 27th offers perfect conditions for stargazing. Look to Orion's belt for amazing sights like the Orion Nebula and nearby star clusters. Don't miss the Broken Heart Cluster, also known as NGC 2281, near the zenith that night. Now for some news updates. It's almost time for the 2025 iHeart Pluto Festival. Join us in Flagstaff, Arizona from February 13th to 17th to enjoy special science talks, exclusive tours, a Pluto-themed pub crawl, limited edition craft beer, and much more. Visit iHeartPluto.org to see the schedule of events and to purchase tickets. Our friends at Grand Canyon Conservancy are excited to announce that their first astronomer in residence of the year is Stephen Hummel, McDonald Observatory's Dark Skies Senior Outreach Program Coordinator. From February 1st to March 14th, Stephen will be giving constellation tours and special presentations on the importance of preserving our planet's dark skies. Visit grandcanyon.org events for more information. That's all for now. I'm Dr. Tyler Ritchie Owl, an astronomer here at Lowell Observatory, and this has been the Arizona Night Sky Report presented by Lowell Observatory and Grand Canyon Conservancy. We'll see you next time.